I came to Vanderbilt about uh, nine years ago, and one of the first people I met on my interview <laughs> was Rob. And I was like, wow, you know, he's got an engineering lab set up in the medical center. He's got engineers working there. He's got an engineering PhD. He's an MD PhD. And I knew this was a guy I wanted to collaborate with. And I was like, well, if, if the surgeons at Vanderbilt are like that, that's a place I got to go be a faculty member. I was kind of shocked when you showed so much interest in coming to Vanderbilt. I didn't realize how special it was. It really breaks down barriers when you think about the graduate students and their interaction with surgeons. I think sometimes uh, surgeons are a little bit hard to approach, but when you're in the same place and you're just kind of you know, having an everyday conversation, it becomes much easier to ask those questions. And maybe of those 10 questions, nine of them turn out to be nothing. But it's that one that turns out to be, a, hey, that's a great idea. We should really try that. And maybe only one of those one out of 10 times comes out to be a great idea. But if that all happens in one month, then every month you're coming up with a great idea. Yeah, and it's just consistency. It's like being in that medical environment. When you can put graduate students in the medical environment so that all day long they're running into doctors and they're hearing about this random case, that random case, and that just builds and builds and builds until you can really come up with, with those moments that are really unique. You can't just manufacture them. You can't have a once a month meeting and have those moments happen. Take, for example, the eustachian tube robot idea. This crazy idea that we can put a tiny camera through somebody's nose, up the eustachian tube to examine their middle ear. And Bob had all of this technology available, but was looking for clinical applications. We were trying to do this with existing technology and failing miserably. And just one kind of random interaction with a graduate student who was messing around with one of these devices led to a project that now has turned into an NIH grant submission, multiple papers, and a product that will probably be clinically realized. All that because we were co-localized, having a cup of coffee, talking about different things.